Hey there, Andrew here. I love to be entertained, but I have no patience. So I give every new show I watch only one episode to hook me. Welcome to Debut Review. Chainsaw, man. It's an anime. It has a man with a chainsaw for a face and appendages. Bayonetta did it first. Unless it's based on a manga, which it probably is, and it depends on when that came out. And I don't know, and I probably don't care enough to remember to look it up later. Will I do it in the edit? Apparently not. I've seen the trailer for Chainsaw Man. And, um... I remember... There's a woman in it with, like, sharp, pointy teeth. So, let's, let's read the show description. A teenage boy drowning in debt is forced to hunt down devils with his pet devil dog, Pochita, until he's betrayed and killed. Spoilers. Uh, in an unexpected turn of events, Pochita merges with his dead body and grants him the power of a chainsaw man. A chainsaw man? Are there multiple chainsaw peoples? That could be interesting. Oh, well, it's a pet devil dog, so I guess that makes sense. So... Some teenage kid is in debt. Why? You're a teenager. What What did you do? <laughs> how, how are you in debt? Well, I, I, I mean... Uh, no, I mean, you, you, a lot of people go to college, and I was, I'm included in that. So, you know, I, I started accruing debt when I was 18. So, okay, sure, sure, I, I guess. But he's got a devil dog and he's betrayed by whom so it's like hey buddy all right if you hunt down devils we'll take care of your debt and they betray him and kill ah, it's like what i'm criticizing show that I'm not even watching yet uh but you know uh he his dead body merges with his devil dog and grants him the power of a chainsaw man I, I I don't know what good that does him I I guess if when when faced with a show description which is just making me cock an eyebrow and go eh maybe it would behoove me to watch the show so I'm gonna do that Questions have been answered! Okay, so teenage boy drowning in debt. Uh, his daddy owed the Yakuza a lot of money, and then he hung himself, and so the boy inherited the debt. Is that legal? Doesn't matter, it's the Yakuza. They said, hey boy, you owe us lots and lots of money. Pay up, or we'll kill ya. <coughs> so, them's the breaks. Um, uh, he's betrayed and killed. Why? Well, so, he's at his father's gravestone. The Yakuza comes up and says, Hey, we'll kill you if you don't take on Daddy's debt. And at the same time, an injured devil dog, uh, Pochita, shows up. And he's like, oh, well, I mean, I'm dead either way. Go ahead and kill me. Now, this devil dog has a chainsaw sticking out of its face. And he also has a handle. So you can, like, hold the dog by his butt and the handle onto, like, a suitcase handle and use him as a chainsaw because he's got a saw blade sticking out of his face. It's an interesting concept, even if I don't really care for the specific design work 
And he says, oh, you're an injured devil dog. And apparently someone shot it at some point. He's like, well, you know, bite me. No, literally, because I hear human blood heals you guys, so... So he makes a pact, and um, he uses a uh, little devil dog to uh, hunt demons. Uh, you know, he's a bounty hunter, essentially. He uses his little chainsaw dog to chainsaw demons uh, to pay off his debt to the Yakuza. Well, one day, even though the Yakuza likes him, the Yakuza's like, hey, we're going to enter a pact with our own devil because we're greedy and not, not enough is never enough for us. Which is kind of a dumb pact because they make a pact with a zombie devil, which turns them all into zombies. I don't know why... Maybe they didn't know that was going to happen. I don't know. But uh, that's what the betrayal is. Because... The, the the zombie devil doesn't like devil hunters, so he's like, tell you what, you can join my devil crew and be a zombie, my zombie devil crew and be a zombie, if you let me kill the devil hunter. And the Yakuza goes, okay. So there's the betrayal. And they kill him. But the devil dog uh, merges with him, so now he becomes Chainsaw Man. And he's like, oh, crap, he's still alive. Well, eat him this time. And the funniest line in the show it had me chuckling heartily. It was something along the lines of, I'm sure he'll stay dead after he's been eaten. <laughs> Seems like a pretty safe assumption, yeah. Um, why does our hero, who's name I didn't catch if they stated it why does he have sharp pointy teeth is it something you get when you enter a pact with the devil no he had him in the first place so why why do some people have pointy teeth is that just a design quirk It is it characteristic of Something that will be explained in later episodes? Don't know. But some people have pointy teeth. Some people do not. Not sure why. Uh, so devils just exist in the world, I guess? What do they do? I don't know. I, I guess they're bad. Because there are people who hunt them. They, they do seem to subsist on human blood. I, I, I assume they harm humans. Don't really know for sure because it's not really shown. I mean, the show opens up with uh, he's on a bounty hunting assignment. It's like, there's an attack of the killer tomatoes, devil. We're going to go get it. Varoom. And then it cuts to, we sure done killed that tomato that was just Standing there, was it menacing a park full of children? No. Was it about to devour a cute and cuddly little kitty? No. As far as I can tell, it was just kind of hanging around an empty lot. Again, I'm sure devils are, like, deleterious to the well-being of human existence. I can kind of infer that. You'd think they'd show that, though. Um, well, the only character really is our lead character, who's just understandably miserable and just really wants a nice, normal life. You know, would like to, uh, instead of subsisting on slices of plain bread, he'd like some jam for his bread. And a girlfriend. Jammy bread and a girlfriend. What 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 more could anyone ask for? Well, if you're the Yakuza, I guess being part of the zombie army for some reason. The animation is okay for the most part. Struggling a bit in places. I don't think the 3D elements uh, match at all. 
it's really jarring and off-putting. Uh, when he transforms into ch when little Chainsaw Dog merges with him after he dies to revive him, and he becomes Chainsaw Man with chainsaw hands and chainsaw head, he's 3D. He's a CG character. I guess because it's easier to draw. I, I don't know. Because the perspective changes with the blade sticking out of his face were just too difficult. So, so it's CG, I guess, but it doesn't look very good. The design is... Like with the dog, conceptually I like the idea, but, in, but the actual specific design I'm not really digging. I don't hate it. Don't find it off-putting. I just... Not, not really grokking it. Um... So he kills all the, uh, spoilers for episode one. So he kills all the zombie Yakuza and the zombie, zombie devil. And, uh, then some woman with pink hair walks in. Says, hi, I'm from the Better Business Bureau, um, pu no, Public Safety Commission or something. We hunt devils. And, um, here's how it's gonna go, buddy. Uh, I kill you now or you work for me. Okay, and um, he says, hug me, and then faints, and she hugs him to keep him from falling over. And then she lowers him to the ground, and he's like, uh, what's for breakfast? And she goes, oh, you know, uh, bread with jelly, and some salad, and maybe some dessert. I'm like, that seems kind of an odd choice for breakfast, but, uh, you know. <coughs> you do you. So, uh, that's the end of the episode, and actually it's it's kind of a complete arc. That That's a complete story. It would work just, this is a full TV series, but that would work as just a, a short. Because there's a, you know, kid is miserable and just wants a normal life with a, he, he just wants his, uh, he just wants his jammy bread and a girlfriend, and he ends uh, in the arms of the pink-haired woman who's going to take him out for a very nice breakfast with jammy bread. So, he's made it. End of story. No need for episode two. So, uh, I was watching the credits of the show, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm satisfied with the story as it is, and I'm, nothing's really calling me to see more of this. It's 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 got some nice gore in it, and some of the action is imaginatively choreographed in places. So there, there's that, but there was really nothing like, "Ooh, I got to see more of this," because the world isn't interesting. Only because the world isn't really explained yet. Our lead character is fine, but eh, he's just a. Just seems like an okay guy. I, I, I don't know. There's nothing really compelling me to spend more time in the world. So I was watching the credits and I was thinking, this is really, whether I watch episode two or not, it's really going to come down to the next episode preview. Um, you know, does the next, does seeing what is coming next make me go, ooh, you know, grabbing me by the lapels. It's like, oh, I must see this. Um, there was no next episode teaser trailer next time on Chainsaw Man. So, guess we're done here. <laughs> um, yeah, I have... I wouldn't be opposed to watching more, but I have no active interest in watching more, so... I don't know. Uh, I've got other things on my plate to watch, so I'm probably just going to watch that, but... If you think this is a show I should stick with, if you think it's something I'd enjoy, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, maybe I'll give episode two a try. So, uh, my stomach tells me it's dinner time. Bye.